So um, the STASI, uh, that's actually the word, STASI is actually an acronym um, for the Ministry of State Security of the former German Democratic Republic. Um, however, Stasi is actually more a colloquial way of referring to it. Um, the official um, abbreviation is MSF, so Ministry for State uh, Security um, in East Germany. And um, the way they worked uh, was actually very interesting um, in comparison to other, you know, secret services or secret police forces of the time is that um, they not only worked with official employees, um, but they had a large, large number of unofficial employees um, who were very active within um, the population of the GDR, so of East Germany. Um, and, uh, and not only that, they were also, um, you know, not, not only these unofficial employees, but also just random recruits so um, the secret police would approach people um, for information on others. And, and that's basically what the secret police was for. It was, um, it had, on the one hand, it was, you know, uh, doing uh, foreign uh, intelligence. It was um, doing internal intelligence. So um, checking up on what people were saying, what their, um, you know, ideology was like, what their behavior was like. Um, and uh, the interesting thing uh, about um, you know the Stasi is that, um, as you might know, the GDR was a, a you know one-party state, so it was run um, by the Socialist Unity Party, and um, that's also known as SED. Uh, and and this party, you know, really dictated um, you know what people should believe, uh, and um, and and if people started acting. Against against um, that socialist ideology, um, the Stasi might, you know, react to that. Um, and that's why it was, you know, referred to as the shield and sword um, of the SED, so the Socialist Unity Party, because um, the, the role of the Stasi was really to, um, to enforce uh, socialist ideology and um, socialist way of life within um, the population. And, um, and this could you know, take many different forms. Um, on the one hand, it was about gathering information, but then also actively um, you know, being involved in people's lives. And, um, and that was achieved by uh, you know, people who worked for the Stasi to be literally on every level of East German society and in every institution, every organization. So, workplaces, schools, universities, um, you know, circles of friends, seminar groups, you name it. So everywhere in everyday life, there would be encounters um, with people who might work for the um, secret police and they were trying to, you know, kind of keep in check how the population um, was behaving and, um, and, and if any of that behavior was going against what, uh, you know what the the, the socialist um, personality was you know um, kind of uh, expected to to do or to be like so if you for example um, had a friend in West Germany and you were in touch with them um, they might do things like reading your um, letters listening into your phone calls um, and of course as you might know at that time Germany was uh, divided by a wall so um, uh, they, you know, East Germany was trying to contain people in the country and stopping them from leaving. And so if there was any indication that somebody might want to leave the country and flee, um, they would, you know, really actively start um, trying to control them um, using various methods and, um, and sometimes even, um, you know, imprison them. Um, and that could have quite devastating long-term um, effects. 